Hello, I'm Larry Makovich, IHS Power Strategist. And today we had a session at our forum with regard to the missing money problem in North American power markets. And so just to give you a quick idea of what we were talking about, you know, we've been at deregulation in the U.S. now for two decades. And people are looking at the power prices that clear in these competitive markets, and they come to the conclusion that they chronically seem to be too low to support new power plant investment. And so what we did in this session was to try to understand what's going on here. Is this a normal adjustment process in the marketplace when you've got surplus supply conditions? Or does it indicate that there is a fundamental problem here in power markets that needs to be addressed? And in fact, it was interesting that we were here in Houston, in Texas, to do this because Texas is a power market where there is no more surplus supply. The market is actually quite tight. There's a need for new power supply, and yet the market clearing price for electricity in Texas remains too low to support new power plant investment. Now, we got a discussion going as to why that would be the case, but the other problem that we talked about was if prices are chronically too low, not only do you not get enough new plants, you get too many existing plants retiring. And so we looked into the basic economics here, and what we saw was there are some fundamental reasons why a power market doesn't give you the textbook result that supply and demand is going to balance at a price high enough to support new power plant investment. And this isn't a new problem. It's something that cropped up with railroads years ago. It's something that we characterize with airlines as well. And the root cause of the problem is the kind of costs that are associated with the technologies that we use to produce electricity efficiently. And so as we look around the US today, we see a lot of places that are trying to confront this problem. Sometimes it's a capacity marketplace. Sometimes it's a reliability must-run contract. But it's really addressing two different dimensions to this missing money problem. One is that there's an inherent problem that you're going to come up short on recovering some of your capital costs. But the second part of this problem is that we're making it worse when we're imposing a lot of technologies that are reducing the cash flows in the energy market that pay for the other capital, particularly for cycling and baseload power plants. So we did a great session with a lot of back and forth on the nature of the problem, the root causes, and we started to get into a discussion of what kind of solutions would be appropriate, and tried to talk a little bit about what's going on down here in Texas, where the idea is to rely on price spikes from periodic shortages to give you capital cost recovery. And the conclusion was, it looks like that's not going to be a very likely way to solve both dimensions of this problem, and that there needs to be some leadership and new thinking uh, brought to bear on this problem in order to sort it out and shape the power business properly going forward.